all of us knew Marion Barry when he was being formed as a man by the civil rights movement. Years later, here in Washington, when Marion and I had different roles, I used to tease him on the dance floor about bringing those cotton chopping moves to the big city as Marion did what he called dancing. I, I want to, on behalf of myself and all the other journalists, the cameramen, reporters, writers, I'd like to thank Marion Barry for all the overtime. It enabled us to send our kids to school, college, get a mortgage, put a little money in the bank, and he reminded me of that quite often. You'd be nothing if not for me. I stopped letting him go to the gas station because he would spend all of his money, not on the gas, but to people. Given the people who was asking for money, I stopped letting him go to the grocery store because we couldn't get out of the grocery store. I don't like the grocery store. So I want to go in and get out. Where you been? Where you work? Oh, how long you been on that job? How old are you? How many children you got? Where you live? What church you go to? Who you people? <laughs> this is him every single day. And the most important thing I want you to say, say to you about my husband was that as complicated as he was, he was a very simple man.